Okay, mi gente, we're gonna start with one of my favorite movements from headquarters. I shin pummel to a shin pin. From here, I use a V grip to shove their knee and insert either my knee or hip into the hip space I created. This flanking position can also be called J point. Another great option from HQ is the leg weave. I shove my partner's knee under my armpit and pinch my elbow. From here, I insert my far knee in between my partner's legs to the leg weave position. I use my cross face to move my partner's head off center line to make space for my hip. From here, I hip switch to mount. This is definitely going to feel a little different in the gi than it does in no gi. And with like most smash passes, you can move in either direction for the pass. Here, I switch my hips the other direction for side control. And now a fan favorite, the leg drag. Okay, so technically this doesn't have to be done from HQ, but still it works. From here, I try to make sure that I shelf my opponent's leg on top of my hip, which will allow me to create pressure and then move my head into the side control position. Okay, let's keep it moving with the knee slice. I use my forearm to prevent the knee shield and drop my hip to my elbow to start my knee slice. An important concept to think about is removing frames with your hands or your head to use this knee slice. Okay, so this last one is a showstopper, all right? It's just a hip switch, it's a little bit athletic, and the placement of your hands really varies depending on the movement. But really the objective is to use your own leg to move your partner's legs out of the way, hip switch into side control. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna try and keep making these. Please consider subscribing. Thank you guys, don't be a bum.